Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey through the Wertrus province where I'm trying to do my best to level up our band of mercenaries. There's a lot to debrief you on. I did quite a bit of housekeeping which I think isn't that fun to watch through so I just did it in uh, the background. For starters we finally got the level up for a blacksmith and I figured also out that you can't really over level um, these trade skills because all of the things that you can craft have a minimum level requirement at the moment five which is exactly the level of our party so I got experience blacksmith set one to um, five and the theme here is ghost wolf armor and ghost wolf uh, Etc. Etc. I got quite lucky with the crafting and got us slots uh, as well as the ability to kind of build runes for these slots. Fortunately, the ones that I currently can do are dexterity or cost uh, materials that would not help Namri. But just look at that beautiful 104 health. It's just fantastic. If we can pair that with just a tiny bit more willpower to uh, to get up to 15, that would be fine. Um, and whereas crafting another uh, another ghost armor, medium armor, this time for Jim. Jim is rocking 61. And finally, we have a third ghost armor for Dilly G, who uh, or which gets him up to 46 and mind you this year has two runes um, that I also crafted so a lot of crafting has happened and that really led to great great results Delhi is now ready we're just requiring a bit better bow um, but time will uh, give us that now second update even more importantly if you look at the trade sections of Ender Senders, he has now the couple trade. So in one of the dialogues uh, off screen, he started to date Namri and I find that totally fa uh, fascinating. We got the first couple of, uh, of this run through and it fits like she's more the level headed uh, strong woman uh, who is tanking and he's the, uh, the morally integer but has seen too much in his life type of captain that would uh, resort back to Robin Hood uh, methods. So that's great. I really like uh, that little extra uh, depth. Additionally, we do have these belt accessories, which I totally adore. Uh, I'm waiting for more iron ore because this here is a belt accessory of uh, shooting attacks for, uh, which increased by are increased by 10%. That will be great for our archers. And then we do have the trekkers charm. Uh, that's not really my type of uh, tea, but I think I suppose for the crafting uh, first time crafting bonus we can do it. Equally, the sharp fang ones, critical hits against bleeding targets. Might as well do that just for the craft XP. Fantastic. So, in terms of belt equipment, we've got a lot of movement here. I think you already have enough movement. That extra critical chance would be good. Cool. Now, what are we going to do in today's episode? I wanted to progress the storyline. Let's start with the vineyard that had been attacked, and we never really spoke with uh, so this tuba with her. Has special properties. Wait, you mean this repulsive root is responsible for our ordeal? The men in my field, I saw them trying to plant the blasted thing. They were knowingly poisoning my vines. This is extremely serious. Broker, I'll here is your reward. Take it and enjoy it while I go to the castle. Stay. Very good. So apparently someone is trying to sabotage the, the lands here. We are going over there. And by the way, guys, I found out something else. I've been living under the rock so f under a rock so far, but the sprint actually means we're traveling much, much faster. How great is that, right? I agree. 
Fantastic. Alright, quick check whether or not we do have a couple of Might jobs here. Yeah, that's potentially not it, but might be able to do that. I don't know how hard hard jobs are, but medium jobs are already kicking our ass quite a bit. The other day, a woman with an Edoranian accent bought enough supplies to last several days. Well, oh, that's good for her. I tell you what, we can't carry around. Oh yeah, and I have crafted a few of these nice little gimmicks. So I wanted to use bee bombs and so on, just for the sake of having a bit of variety. All right, our next destination. Should be another storyline mission, but before we do that, Let's get the sturdy fishing hooks going. I appreciate how themeless they have put the whole um, the whole craftsmanship into the game, because typically it's a chore. But here you're always getting experience. They have passive benefits, so you really want to level them up. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, they are incredibly v vital to just start the party. Without a blacksmith, I would still be rocking absolute garbage equipment. Good. We want to go up there, which is our next target. Besides, let me just check something real quick. No, we don't have enough iron ore. I agreed to see you as this meeting could be mutually beneficial for us. You see, I need to hire mercenaries for a very delicate mission. I want you to capture a woman who represents a threat for the future of Alazar and Gosenberg. All right, what is that woman doing? Needless to say, her identity is on a need-to-know basis only. You shall bring her back alive, take your reward, and never speak of this mission again. Are you interested? Of course, Don't. sure. I am pleased. This woman usually travels in a small caravan between the Windfall Estate and the village of Marha. Well, we'll figure that out. Who are I you, by the way? this place is my home. Alazar and Gosenberg formed a single kingdom. It is my duty to protect the Alazar. Good, I like the royalty here. What I don't like is we can't steal anything. How am I supposed to play a Robin Hood if we can't really steal anything? So we need to go down here and there is a nice little reward on top of it. That's a two for one. I like that. And look at that, there is blood. That might be the next hunt that we can do. In the meantime, I think I've almost given up on that codex management. Good, two out of three, I'm getting there. Okay, so let's drink 
and have some of this dried meat. There we go. Since I learned to be a master chef uh, with an Emery, it seems that we're never running out of food. So that really helped us. What's this blood, by the way? Oh, that was the meeting spot. Just fooled myself into thinking that we found the other hunt. We did not. I wonder if we could capture an animal. Next time that we're seeing something, maybe we'll we'll get one. Is there another bridge over this water? Yeah, apparently not. All right, very wrong way. Holy. Should we maybe adjust our plans and do that later? I think so. Since we're anyways here, that's a bit harder and that's average difficulty. Hmm. Well, Psych never was afraid of difficulty. Let's go, boys, let's go. Fantastic. That should be one of these quality projectiles. Yes, there, uh, there we are. That's 10% of extra shooting damage. And Zoe, as much as I appreciate the movement. Well, without it, she has movement 8. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we're staying uh, with the movement until she levels up. Need to get a little bit more movement going. This goatle is trapped. Bait is somewhat... Uh, looks a little bit like bait. Well... You scare the groats all. This beast, it's half goat. Half pig and half rabbit. <laughs> and he's got golden guts. If we capture one and gut it, we'll be loaded. No more work in his stable, boys. Re Why'd you tell them? Now they're gonna steal our trap. By the beast's fangs, you're right. We gotta kill them. Uh, well, here. Well, if that's true, does it mean we bought a pig and wasted a whole day here for nothing? The boss ain't gonna be out. We can't tell her none of it. Take this. All right, Eva, uh, our other pony, gets saddlebags. I love iron ore, but unfortunately we can't mine it because everybody else is in a profession. And unless I'm willing to waste valuable experience, which, spoiler alert, I'm not. Yep, that ain't happening. It's a bit the downside of... A bit the downside of... Uh, only having seven and not more mercenaries. But ever since we had more mercenaries, the fights became easier, but also longer, so... Don't feel like we need to waste way more time by adding more and more mercenaries. How much wood do we have? Oh, it's, this looks like the temple. Torches, three. We need more grease. That would bring us to four torches. Not enough. Well, maybe it is enough. Who knows?
Well, there we go. Level 7. That is going to be a difficult fight. Faction passive skills. At this level, the enemies develop more complex and specialized strategies. Wolves. Every time a unit ends their turn with an injury, they gain a two rage. Okay, Pauli starts over here. This guy is going first, which I don't like. But that way it's okay. Good. So, let's start. Orderly. Wasted one point. Uh, we could effectively uh, start to create this little um, this little narrow corridor. Not sure how fast the wolves are. Wolf gains deflection and rage. What does rage mean? Damage increase by 5%. So you don't want to fight them for a, pro a prolonged period of time. Okay, cool. Well, no problem. Best buddies. Big fat hit. I like that. Well, that alpha is no longer so alpha. One down. Moves to here. Gets everybody excited. And then fails to be able to attack anyone. But we're getting Valor out of it. I would like to capture one of those alphas, if possible. Move up. Double hit. Shoot this guy back. And we're continuing to get Valor. Moves up and starts attacking this guy. Okay, cool. Well, we could easily fill uh, fill up our baler, and yeah, why not? There we go. Maximum. Let's try to knock him out. Missed. Okay. Yeah. 
I think I do un begin to understand. So in order to knock someone out, what you want to do is you want to be behind them and then they apparently need to be busy. Okay, cool. Well, we can do that. Good, we captured one. Fan fucking tastic. Pack of wolves wouldn't be too bad, would it? We're moving in. And there we go. Well, so much for capturing that guy. Let's try that again. Yeah, captured him. Okay, I just found out how to capture animals. That's a breakthrough. Don't want to do too many of them, but... It seems a few might be worthwhile. Everybody else moves faster. I would want to get that alpha. Good. A bit of this. And a bit of that. And we're ending the turn. Billy moves up. Aim into this. Move up. Oh boy. Dilly is on a mission. Poison into a massive hit and nothing happened moves over here good we're moving in And we're finally engaged. Very good. Move up. Move all the way to here. That's a solid hit. And can we capture him now? The answer is maybe. We need to be fast and we need to be able to get there.
So this gives us one Valor. Enough to make us fast. Damn, the Alpha. Good, moving here. Sprinting as far as we can and then let's hope we can get there. No. End of turn. Yeah, he's still alive. That's good enough. Just going with deflection. And end of turn. Kill over there. First aid. Cool. We captured three wolves. That's actually pre pretty impressive. Good. Let's see what they would be doing. I uh, can definitely take them for the next fight. Evasion. Uh, that's deflection. Wow, solid hit. Each attack against a unit uh, without armor applies bleeding. That's not bad either. Wow, and he has massive stats. Let's apply some movement because it feels like he might need that. Get to 15 willpower. Bit more constitution isn't bad. A bit more strength isn't bad either. And there's the willpower. So it can take one hit. We don't have a collar, uh, collar for it anymore. But how about we're calling that one? I like the wolf. Can no longer compete in tasks. That's not a problem. 100 hit points is good, but it does not have armor. Um, what's a good name for it? Uh, I think... That might be Roby, all-time classic. The other two wolves are no names for now. Uh, oh, we can even level that up. If there are at least three wolves in the troop, this unit uh, gets plus 50% critical. While this unit is not engaged in combat, but near an ally, it gains fragility, but gives the ally protection. No, let's do that wolf, uh, wolf thing. This unit is healed for 30% of max health and all debuffs are removed for just one Valor. Uh, 
Or alternatively, if it kills something, it'll heal. I'll take the passive one because I want our Valor to be used for other stuff. It's a strong unit, holy. Good, the other wolves. Pack, healing. Uh, we'll give you guys a tiny bit more willpower. I don't want to sp uh, spend too much too much on a random wolf. There we go. Movement seems reasonable and the willpower. Cool. Can take one hit. Willpower. Willpower. Extra movement. All right, this is Mr. Fast Wolf. 17 movement. Okay, so I think we're ready for whatever is in that dungeon. 46. Well, the wolves are hungry. That's a given. So that plus that, we'll eat all of that. By the way, it's a bit uh, it's a bit uh, strange, but we're creating wolf sausage out of wolf, and we're feeding that to the wolves. Nothing is going to waste here. <laughs> oh boy. Namri and Miss Grell's relationship has have improved. Well, let's finally try to do that codex management. So I know that was a correct one, or uh, very likely that could be a correct one. Let's try that. Okay, well, no. Further away than before. Okay, time for us to craft. A few torches for good measure. And we are going into the next tomb. Tomb of her truths. Not to be uh, mistaken for the Tomb of Annihilation. I'm trying to get in, but I can't open this blasted door. I guess you're supposed to make an offering, but what could an ancient want? Skilled negotiators or wealthy travelers are welcome. Well, skilled negotiators is 10. Nothing happens. Wealthy would be 100. You did it. The treasure is mine. 
Well, great. We lost a hundred and this guy has a head start. Wouldn't be surprised if he regrets his life choices and dies. There is something under the mud, but we have to clear it away. All right, so yeah, how are we clearing it away? Couple of fragments. Okay, we can't clearly can't clear that away yet. So let's uh, try to explore further. And of course, we're running into a group of mole rats and creepers. Not going to capture more rats this time. We're ready uh, to fight with our wolves. No more more rats for this group. Good, out of curiosity, can we... No, we can't... Put something into his hand. What we can do is... Move up. need to be able to see someone else unfortunately you can't do that in the darkness did he gets attacked by a rat look burning isn't all too bad I think it actually works out in our favor. All right, Dilly has the exact same problem yet again. One, two, three times. And there is the fury we were waiting for. Oh boy. Yeah, they are, uh, of course, they are incredibly good against unarmored targets, right? Good moves over here. Putting some mud there. And we're moving slightly back. Okay, cool.
Okay, well, that works even in the darkness. Move up. And let's start hitting these guys. New round is starting. Uh, we could capture, uh, capture someone, but like I mentioned, I don't feel that that is a very good idea. Poison over there. And more bees, just for good measure. Obi is taking a quite substantial beating, actually. moving here and that and I think this should almost end the encounter yep yeah. there we go Miss Grell got a level oh yeah good finally level five for her We're going with willpower because I want I don't want to lose anyone in in the actual battles. Damage inflicted to armor is increased by thirty five percent as long as there are at least two enemies within six um, meters. She has protection. Damage and critical hit increased by twenty uh, percent against units with at least one debuff. Hmm. Well, together with fire or poison, that is actually surprisingly easy. So we're going to take that one. Start to uh, I start liking her in that dual handed style much better. We've understood another rune of philosophy. Yeah, there seems to be nothing else other than that one encounter. There's a key. Very good. That's again the mechanism that we can already see here. This door is being blocked from the other side, so we might need to backtrack. This, however, was a valuable key. Good. Back to square one. We still have nothing to scratch that one off. 
and it's getting darker and darker so we got to be really careful here another one of these puzzles I'll just do them real quick and then we continue all right puzzle is solved so I needed to go out and purchase more materials to uh, to create the torches we can go this way but unfortunately none of our companions can swim so that's a no starter which now brings us deeper into the mine or the tome rather more fragments good we have a red uh, uh, triangle right there if we can hear water behind the wall can we break it is the question Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it. I released, uh, I was ambushed by a couple of wolves, uh, no, a couple of bears actually, and realized just how great bears are. So I figured uh, we trade <clears throat> Roby for proper bear uh, with 316 hit points. That's really a lot. So I appreciate uh, the bears. It's a statue of Napti and he's holding a gem in his uh, right hand and his left hand is empty. Let's go with the sandstone. Head trauma, inappropriate Murphy. Let's try that again. Inappropriate Murphy goes with a bruise. Well, he's never fighting, so... As much as I appreciate a severe beating of Murphy... It feels a bit... Wrong. I'm wondering if with mining, we could kind of mine open this wall. I most certainly do not have a gem with me. I'm typically selling these. Cost of items from the Trekker Guild reduced by 10%. That's not bad. Animals have reduced um, aggression range. I like the run duration increase. This is a bit disappointing. I was hoping we would be getting somewhere. Let's try sandstone one more time. Murphy's in a tough spot. Well, unless someone can swim, which I don't think anyone can do at the moment. It seems that all my preparation was for nothing. None of our companions can swim, so that's a no starter. How do we clear away the mud? We 
We know there is water behind the wall, right? Hmm. Yeah, strange. Don't have an immediate idea. Now that would be a perfect time during a blind playthrough to have a bit of co-op session to have you guys chime in with ideas of what we could do. So far we've seen one of the symbols, but that's pretty much it. Something is blocking the door from the other side. Well, there is nothing blocking here, but We know one out of three combinations, but that's really not good enough to go about to go about that uh, door sign. There are too many combinations still open. So the question is, what are the other two signs? We need at least one more, guys. Already spent a hundred to get in here. Unfortunately can't do it. I don't see another sign. We need either a sapphire or a ruby in order to actually go through that. And if we can't uh, do that, then I'm pretty sure we're going to uh, mm, we would uh, need to play through all of uh, the different alterations and that would take too long. So let's instead go with the old uh, manor. And we're finishing our episode after that. Being nicely ambushed. Let's try to run away. Can we run both of these groups into one another? That would be awesome. By the way, we got 10 knowledge points and as much as I like to save them, I wonder if it would be worthwhile spending some of them. Basic recipes. Very good. That's making our life substantially more easy. Good. All we need is an infected brain to get a cure for a plague. But where do we get an infected brain? from All right, I 
think we can learn that as well. Cool. So a couple of recipes, all of, uh, not all of which are immediately useful, but uh, some will come uh, into and to use a little bit later. The bear is eating like crazy, so gotta be a bit mindful with that. The Brotherhood asked us to go, so now we have to drag our wounds. We could spare a few remedies or a little food. We might just reach Marheim alive. Uh, sure. Go ahead here. Wonderful. Oh, look at you. Well, that was one mission. Easy peasy. Well, there is still the old manor. And we finally found out where that golden key that the ap uh, apothecary was always carrying around would lead to. Wait, are you sure you want to go down? What if it is another trap? Yeah, let's what? go. What took you so long? Was it that difficult to capture a mere apprentice? Oh, who are you? Where are my men? Oh boy, we got ourselves another fight. Okay, cool. That's a great ender of today's episode. And let me fix Discord for a second. All right, Discord fixed. Let's go, baby. We have a fight at our hand. One that I would like to win. Namri, JP Pauli could go here, Enders goes there. Everybody here is orderly. Moving all the way to here. Everybody gets a protection and we're deflecting done. What kind of buff does he have? This unit's guard is equal to the highest guard amongst their own and their nearby allies. That's a pretty damn good ability if he's fighting in the front line. Good net net. This here will be more positive than just attacking because everybody received fury and we're getting some valor on top of it. Critical hit chance against targets in combat is increased by 50%. Unknown soldiers. When unit has no guard, they apply vulnerability. Well, great. Best buddies with the best buddy comet buff. Nice little hit. I like that. Shooting the sentry deep into the enemy and we're positioning ourselves there. Bear starts to tank. So he moves up. Hurts the enemies uh, right there and makes sure that their front line does not approach us. Ah, that's a lot of damage.
we're getting inspiration which is good move up attack and let's go baby what do their archers have as a shot uh mudsling that's fine but they're dealing a lot of damage all right time to teach these guys a lesson one two three and we're engaging with the next guy Poison, yes please. Move behind. Massive hit. Well, not that massive, but still a good hit. End of turn. Bear deals a decent amount of damage. What is relentless? After taking this unit executes an attack of opportunity. Okay. Good, new round is starting. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? I mean, listen. Namri still has the damage buff, everybody else does not. Might as well move to here. good tell you what enders produces full valor Roby and enders have uh, their relationship improved even better Enders moves up. Hits this guy and hits him really well. And we're doing some nice little best friend bonus right there. Hits his own colleague. Okay, well. If you think that that is going to save you, whatever. All right, we're moving over. More fire damage. Moving up. And that's a solid kill. Keep in mind, we're not taking any fire damage, so if they are fighting us in here, besides the repost, nothing is happening. Moves down to here, that's best buddy. Best buddies down here. 
triple hit. Very nice. <laughs> and he's pushed right into the um, the fire. Good. Our front line takes no fire damage, so we're actually good. Enemies, on the other hand, are taking a bit of fire damage. <laughs> the beer. One, two, three. And we're ending the turn. Moves to here. Shouts for everyone. And then casually finishes this guy. I think we're giving everyone inspiration before moving up and engaging the archers in melee combat. Move to here. Quadruple hit. Nice. Moves a tiny bit forward. And their boss just died. Moving to here. Oh, this is going to hurt. One. Two, three, hell yeah. Very good. Bear moves up. Oh, he barely made that. all the way over here a bit of fire damage and some more uh, damage with our sniping moving up we're not caring about fire at all we're just here for the melee one on one. A bit of that, and a bit of this. And a bit of that, I suppose. 
followed by some finalization. Yep, there we go. Can we hit the bomb in some way that it just affects them? No. Good, moves up. And this guy slowly but surely is taking a beating. Weakening him. And all of his stupid armor. Can't really hit him. It's the edge of the map. Unfortunate. What we can do though is pierce him since he's now surrounded. Fantastic. Level six one-handed maze. That is good. Level six pole arm, which is even better. So the game is telling us we should be level six soon. One-handed maze wouldn't really make an, a difference because I want to continue using Dagon's hammer, but just like uh, the Elazarian bow, this here looks actually quite promising. It's a solid upgrade to the level two spear that we're still rocking. It was. How can this be? Why would anyone murder an apothecary? And on without me. I can't possibly leave him like this. Thank you for bringing me here so I... Good. We're getting the flawed remedy recipe. What does that do? A cure prepared with love and care but no particular knowledge. A flask... Yeah, okay, well, hmm. Okay, so is that the smaller version of an actual remedy?
Good, more medicine, that's good. Well, that's actually quite useful. All right, I still haven't figured out what that flawed uh, remedy is supposed to be. But if I had to take a guess, if you're running out of one of the substances, it's kind of the smaller version of it. I'm still finding that we just have too little, um, uh, too little experience that we're getting. It's incredibly difficult to sustain. I will do both of these bounties offline, uh, hand them in for some extra cash and experience. I don't want to bore you with the grind and we're continuing the next time with helping the Winters to enter St. Leonard's Abbey. We still wanted to do that. And apparently there is um, a couple of trade-ins potentially, but we can do that the next time as well. If you feel like our troop is very nicely coming together, hit that uh, like button and leave a comment down below. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.